beat Doctor now, and I'm reading from Russia though. So from Russia though, let's do this. Ooh. Yes, um, if you're thinking again, why am I doing another one of this? Uh, uh, I explained the Dr. No review, but I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna talk to you about why I'm doing it again. I'm doing this again because this. Thank you, and I'll come to us. I'm on my way. I'm gonna show you how to find my name. It's called. Yeah, that was crap as that. I'm wooden. I'm, I don't know, appear in the review, but I'm gonna delete it. It's so funny. <laughs> and it's two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> Let me. Okay, I just told you about it. Let's just go straight to the movie. So this movie is Sean Sean Connery and um. I don't remember anybody else. I don't want to pick up the DVD and do that because I don't want to cut it. So let's just uh, talk about this movie. This movie's about after Doctor No's failure Urgh, and the rocket thing. Blofeld's pissed as hell and he's just like, Urgh. and he's just like, his fingernails are basically just gripping onto his chest, stabbing it. No, that's too violent for a PG movie. But so he's very pissed. So he's like, oh, and then he, like the anger in the voice, and he's also played by Anthony Dawson, who plays um, um, the Doctor, I forgot his name, but in Doctor No, and he dies by Doctor No, and he is basically both out, so it's <gasps> ultimate theory. No, it's not. It's not. So he's very pissed, so he's like, Ugh. he's talking to agents and get them to kill Bond and stuff and shit, and then We've got, now people love this movie, I love this movie, so let's just talk about my positive review and the crap shit things about this. Um, Rick Grant. Now Grant is very badass, he's a very badass villain, but I don't know if he, is he a villain or a henchman? That's probably the main problem about this character. Is he a henchman? He's a henchman of Blowfield, but then there should be the main villain. But... Where is the main villain? Blofeld is in this movie for two minutes and... Who's the villain? That woman with the spike thing. She just appears in the first scene and just dies in the second scene. She just appears in the start and the end. Yeah, just if you think about it, where is the master of the henchmen? Anyway, Red Gons is very badass in this movie, but he just dies. Ooh. But yeah, yeah, it's getting it dies, but um this movie improved for a lot from the first movie. The first movie was good, but it's basically very average. This movie just amazing. Just amazing. So I love this movie. Sean Corey is actually perfect in this movie. Just he's better than in Doctor No and the score improved. And we've got the first ever um, title, uh, I mean, not pre title sequence, which is actually doesn't really make sense, but why are they doing that? Are, you, are they just doing that because they want to kill, they're, they're like practicing to kill Bond? Then the guy with the Bond mask, Sean Connery's mask, does he know that he's going to be killed? And it's a practice to kill him, but doesn't mean he's going to be killed. Just doesn't make sense. The pre title sequence doesn't make sense, but it's suspenseful. It's the first time we think Bond dies. Because he just, we just think he dies like a lot. He dies in this movie, dies in Skyfall. What, when does he die again? He dies in Dino Day, I think. No, he doesn't. Yeah, that that's basically it. Oh, yeah, you only left twice. You only left twice. Ugh. So from Russian Love is very good and it's very good. I just did a Russian accent. This is Russian, if you don't get it. I think the Bondor is actually pretty cool, cool in this movie and it's pretty hot. And uh, but she's just so whiny. Just like when Bond slaps her, he's like, eh! What was the line again? Oh yeah. If I knew anything, what was it? I will tell nothing. 
if I was born, I would slap her again, but no, that wouldn't happen in the... No, I wouldn't. That, that's sexist. I, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that, so... And really, there weren't really that negative stuff in this movie, that, except that there's the one scene where Bond enters his hotel and there's a bomb thing coming out. I'm just like, why is there a bomb thing? Like, I don't get to... Whatever. So, uh, the final verdict. This movie is actually very good. I love the tone. I love everything about this movie. Except the score and the... It's all transitions. So, yeah. I'm giving From Russia With Love an A. Lights are ready. I'm going to take you. So, I'm going to review next week. I'm going to review probably Goldfinger. 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 Or maybe something else because I don't want to do... Like, I don't want to see in my channel, like, a whole lot of, just, uh, like, bomb reviews in a row, because I, I, I hate to see that. I'd hate to see that. That's true. So, yeah, so if you enjoyed, please subscribe and, um, down like, and rate this in alphabetical order, and just talk how you like this movie or hate this movie. I don't mind, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to say I hate this movie. Like, and that I mean, um, you're really crap at reviewing, because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that, because I'm not mean, I'm a cool person. I'm very cool. I'm very cool. So, so yes, Daniel, I am.